the light fixture that was purchased came with uh, this handy dandy template and the, the holes are set up to be on 30, 32 inches apart. Typically the joists are 13, uh, 16 inches apart so this makes it really easy to be able to find wood in order to put the hooks in. And so I align the um, line the template up with the existing the existing uh, two by four joist that is supporting this light right here, and then I measure over here. And then bring this up over here, measure over here. And then I'm going to use this line here, this, this joint. There's a joint line right here that should be fairly, fairly consistent. And this, this uh, hole is about six, five and three quarters. And so I'll go over here to this side, measure out five and three quarters so that the lights are looking straight, straight and narrow. What I'm going to do is this, this kit comes with two different ways to install the lights. One is using chains to hold down. The other one is to have it flush with the ceiling. Seeing as how we're going to be painting this interior, what I'm going to do first is just set it up for the chain. So I'm going to go ahead and put hooks into the two holes. And as soon as I get them drilled, then uh, once we paint the garage, that way we can paint underneath it as well. And then after the paint dries, then I'll go ahead and take the chains off and uh, install, in, install the flush mount. Nice piece of wood. Nice piece of wood. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Okay, now to go ahead and take the hooks that I have. And what I have is uh, I have the, um, the screws I purchased are number eight screws. They have a pretty long shaft, so they should be able to get into the wood nice and solid. So I'll go ahead and get these started. Sometimes I need to use like a screwdriver or something like that, or a pair of pliers to really be able to, to turn them because it gets kind of hard. That one's not too bad. Uh, what I did was before I before I drilled. What you didn't see was I went to the drill kit and I found a, a drill that is just a little bit smaller than the diameter of these of these hooks, so that I can get the hooks in and not necessarily have to really turn really hard. Okay. So that's it for this step. Now the next step is to go ahead and hang the lights.